Hello everybody, uh, just a short tip video for you today about personalising your MailChimp emails. So let's pop over into MailChimp and we'll have a look at how we do that. So here we are in MailChimp, um, I've already logged in and we're at the point where we set up the campaign itself. Um, I've called our campaign training email today and I'm just going to put a test subject here. Uh, just because if I don't, MailChimp won't like it. Um, it's not wanting to let me type there right now. Let's try again. There we go. So, this option here is the first part of the email that you can personalise. This is personalise the to field. And by ticking this, what happens is that rather than the email appearing in the person's inbox as being sent to Sarah at faxesbusinesssolutions.co.uk, it will actually put in the person's name. So this here is called a merge tag and it pulls through the first name. And if you also put in this merge tag for last name, which are here for you, so you can just copy and paste them from here, it will then send the email to um, Sarah Banks. And then that helps to avoid spam filters and can improve your deliverability. Now you may also want to personalize the email itself. So let's go through um, and get the template I'm just going to grab just a general template here um, just so that I can show you how you personalise your email. So here is my email, um, obviously not, not designed but that's, that's for another video and this is where I'm going to start to put my, my, my text in. So I'm going to get dear and what I want to do is I want to actually put the person's name in here. So we go to merge tags and as you can see, we've got email address, first name, last name. Other things here are about the list that you use and unsubscribe links and things like that. But all you need to do is put your first name there. Um, and then you can continue to write your newsletter as you normally would. And what MailChimp will do is they will put the person's name here in every email that they send. So if I save and close this, we can enter preview mode. And you can test this and see how it looks by enabling live merge tag info. And as you can see, this email is going to me, dear Sarah, and in the two bit it has the person's full name. I really hope that you found that tip useful and will be able to use that when creating and working on your own newsletters in the future. Thank you for watching the short video today and please do get in touch if you've got any questions at all.